Dit is de huiskamer. En dan komen we hier bij de slaapkamer. Oh, ja. Met... Welcome to Beer Fan TV. Uh, this is another video. This is Heineken out of the bottle um, versus Heineken um, out of the sub. Um, does it taste any different? Is it worth spending eight pound, you know, two pound eighty three or eight pound forty nine for three and a half pints of beer, or should you just get yourself down to your local supermarket and get it in the bottle? Is there a taste difference? Is there a quality difference? If you want to find out, join me. Take a seat, pull up a pew, whatever you want to do. Get yourself a drink. Join me. Let's find out. Yes, yeah, so this video was brought around because I've done a very similar video on the Phillips Perfect Draft for Stella out of the bottle and Stella out of the machine. And um, it's quite popular. But one of the one of the comments on the video um, was where some someone said that we'd lost our minds. There's no, you know, um, we were we had cabin fever and, um, you know, they taste the same. And I think there was an FML put at the end of it. And, uh, you know, I was kind of the same. Before I bought a sub machine or a Phillips Perfect Dry, I thought the beer was the beer. It tastes the same. But there is a difference. Um, so, and I remember when I very first went to buy a sub, and I remember this, I said to my wife, um, you know, I'm not going to buy the sub because you can buy the beer cheaper, you know, um, um, at the supermarket. There's no point. In, in in buying the sub, so I didn't get the idea of it at the time. The beer is better. It's it's what I don't think some people get is that it's 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 a draft beer rather than something that, that's made in a bottle, um, that's produced for a supermarket, that's produced to sit on a shelf, that's produced to stop UV light going in. It's brewed different. It's not the same. The stuff in a sub is not going to have UV light. The stuff in the bottle sat in a supermarket will. It's in a different, slightly dark color box. It's not impacted by that, but it's it's produced in that way. You know, so it is different. So listen, um, do they taste any different? That's what we want to know. The head's starting to die on this one, so we're going to have to be quick. But this one, uh, this is a bottle that I purchased for about two quid in the supermarket. Um, and this was purchased from Beer Hawk. Um, and I think I paid, uh, I say Beer Hawk, Beer Wolf. Purchased from Beer Wolf, I paid £8.49 for uh, 3.4 um, uh, pints worth. Works out to, if you you know... Um, I always, do, I always do it by half, I forget the half, because I think you lose a bit through the head and stuff. And So I always say you get three three decent pints at the top, if I'm completely honest. So let's pour the two. Let's, let's, they look kind of identical, don't they? There we go. Okay. First of all, um, colour-wise, they almost look a little bit identical, to be honest. Um, I would say that the beer that's coming out of the bottle is way more carbonated than what's come out of the machine. But anyway, that was poured about three, four minutes ago. So you have about eight minutes from when the beer's poured, to be honest. Um, as you can see, the head's starting to drop. Um, but yeah, it looked very, very much identical. Quite sort of, um, it, it, it's a pale sort of beer, isn't it? Pilsner, if you like. Um, creamy white head, smell-wise. Smells quite nice, smells like a beer. Put a bit too much head on this one, get it to some. Very similar sort of smell. Nothing major different between the two, if I'm completely honest. It's going for a test, a taste. Mm. So that's that's a really nice cold beer. I mean that's Stored in a, in that fridge there, at four degrees, and then put into the machine, and it pours it. At, I think it's three degrees. This has been kept at four, very similar temperatures, to be honest. This out of the sub is a nice beer. The first time you ever have one, and you pour yourself a half, you'll notice straight away it tastes like a pint that you've got in a pub. It's like a draft pint, and you notice it straight away. The glass is cold. It's like something you're getting. You know, you get the condensation on the glass. It tastes like a, a draft beer. Ooh. It's nice, it's smooth, it's easy drinking. Heineken's a nice, easy drinking lager, to be honest. 
out the bottle. The head's already started to drop, not a major problem. The liveliness, it has calmed down a bit. And let's go in for a sip. Okay. There is a difference in taste. So, first off, I would say this one is a little bit more bitter on the back end. And I'd say this one's just a little bit smoother and easier drinking. If you, these were no labels on these beers, and someone said, is it the same beer? You, could, you can tell the difference. It's not the same beer. This doesn't taste like it's come from a pub, whereas this one does. This tastes like a draft beer. It's carbonated different. I've done a little bit of sip of that one, a bit gassy now after having a sip of that one. This is way more carbonated. And I think if you're on this for a session, I think you spend a bit of time barping and fur, uh, farting and burping <laughs> in the evening. Um, where this one is just going to be a bit, little bit easier and just smoother to drink. It's just a more enjoyable beer, if you ask me, um, on the on the sub. So I think if someone was to turn around and say to me, whenever, whenever I'm kind of doing these beer reviews, um, listen, I'm, I'm no beer snob. I just look for a beer that's easy to drink. It's, you know, smooth. It's got a light carbonation, not too heavy, not too bitter on the back end, because that kind of, I'm not too keen on those. More importantly, it's just an enjoyable beer. And I would say both of these are enjoyable beers. But I'd probably just turn around and say that if you're someone that likes to go into the pub because you like a draft pint, then I think you're going to enjoy the one from the sub more than you are from the one from the bottle. So my advice, if you've got the sub machine, don't hesitate in getting yourself one of the torps of the sub. And if you really are into your lagers and you're thinking about getting one of these sub machines, I definitely recommend doing it. They're fantastic. You know, people ask the question all the time, do I get the sub or do I get the perfect draft? Um, or do I get the bigger brother, the blade? Um, oh, the only reason why I don't have the blade is because you get the same beers on the sub that you get on the blade. Um, the big difference being, though, is the, the, the sub, the downside to the sub is it's only two litres of beer. Whereas, you know, you go for the blade, it's kind of eight litres. And that's quite a lot of the same beer. I quite like, one of the big things I do like about these machines is just the variety. And I think it's quite nice that you can have different beers, you know, IPAs, lagers, stouts, whatever you want. You know, even the Perfect Draft's doing those now. So I think the great thing about these machines is it offers you a great variety and a great mixture. And with only two litres of beer for the sub, the great thing with that is you can put one in, you can buy it. You know, if you're watching a football game, it's perfect. You're probably going to have probably, what, three pints easy. If you've got a mate with you, you might end up putting two in. Um, the only downside to it is it's just the change in the torps. They do need a little bit of time to settle. Otherwise, you do get quite a bit ahead, if I'm completely honest. And that's where I always say three and a half um, pints. I'd, I'd, I'd mainly aim towards three if I was you, three pints from a torp. But, you know, people say, should I get the, the sub or the or the perfect draft? Listen, it's the beer that's on it. You can't get Heineken on the perfect draft. So if you are a Heineken drinker, hey, it's great, it's fantastic, go with the sub. I don't think you can necessarily go wrong. To be honest with you, I normally, at the moment, I normally keep the sub um, under the stairs when I'm not using it, unplugged. I'll probably turn around and say the great thing about the Phillips perfect draft is obviously you've got, you know, you've got six litres, you've got ten pints. You know, if it's you and somebody else, fantastic, you know. Um, and it's just listen, different beers, different beers. I think where the, the sub could win is if they bought something out in between. Maybe if they brought out a four-litre machine, I think that would be a game-changer for them. Because um, I think that's one of the where, where the, the, the sub drops. It's just the small amount of alcohol. And um, the perfect draft does really well. So listen, look, full and final, I've been wafting on now about the machines. If you're still here watching the video, full and final. For me, I like draft beer. If I'm going to be buying Heineken, I'm going to be buying it on the sub rather than from the bottle. Um, and I would say it's it's probably, for me, it's worth the spend. You know, I don't think you buy a sub when you're watching your pennies. You buy one of those because you enjoy the beer, you know. But listen, there's nothing wrong with not having a sub and just drinking out of a bottle if that's what you choose and you're happy with. So listen, look, um, thanks, for, thanks for watching. Generally appreciated. Please let me know what you think. Um, you know, um, have you tried the two? You know, which ones you prefer and um, what your thoughts are on it. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks very much.